Hey, it's Mike Weaver from Big Daddy Weave. You're watching Kingdom News Now. It's time to testify. Welcome to Kingdom News Now this morning. It's so good to have you uh, joining us again today for this program. Uh, I'm telling you, God is moving throughout this, wor this world, this earth. Amen. He is moving by his mighty power all across this land. I know we've got lots of things going on across this land that doesn't appear to be God moving. Uh, lots of concern, lots of fear, lots of things going on. Amen. But one thing that we know Everything that we're facing today may change tomorrow. But one thing that we can stand on is the Word of God, because Jesus said, I'll never change. And I'm, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we welcome you to Kingdom News Now. I'm Jack Dilday here in the studio in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. So glad to have, have you a part of this program today. I want to begin this program today with just a scripture uh, coming from Psalms chapter 27, verse 13. It says, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Can I tell you that I don't know of a stronger, greater, better scripture that we need to hear and take heart on today than this scripture. Uh, that I would have lost heart unless I had believed or except I believed upon the Lord that I would see the goodness of the Lord. So there's lots of good things happening in the earth today. We have a couple guys here in the studio with us today, some great friends of ours and, and been our friends for many years. And uh, we're going to share some things today. We're going to talk about some things that's going to, that is affecting you, wherever you may be watching this program from. It's affecting you right now. It's affecting your home, your community, your church, everything about you. It is affecting this whole nation. Amen. And that, number one, is the fear that's gripped this nation over the coronavirus. With us in the studio today, we've got Pastor Val, Pastor Val Treese here uh, in the middle here, and then Pastor Zach Strong, pastor of, of Christ Church of the Heartland in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. So good to have you guys on the program with us today. Good to be with you. Yeah, Amen. it's great being here today, Pastor Amen. It's, it's It's been a while, I know, since, since you've been here with us on the program. Mm -hmm. It's good to have you back today uh, with us. And, and guys... I, I just want us to jump right in, dive into this thing, and, and you know, we've got lots of things that's happening, lots of fear running oh across, ramp, rampant across this, you know, this nation. Well, you know, Pastor Jack, that's so true. I think everybody's dealing with yes. it. It doesn't matter where you are, it's across the land. And actually, we're dealing basically with a couple of fronts, and, and right. I think we need to face what's really going on in our area. We're dealing, one, with the world crises, and I'm going to say it because that's what it is right yes. now, of the coronavirus. That's the world crises. But we are also dealing regionally, and in our areas, most of our areas, we're not dealing right. so much with the virus as we're dealing with the panic because the panic, of the right. virus that yeah. is behind it. Yes. And, and we see that when we run to the grocery stores and, and the shelves are empty. That is unusual in our area and even in our nation. Yes. But when you go and you're watching people uh, just go beyond measures, you know, to get prepared for what they think, that is possibly coming. Amen. So we're dealing with those two fronts, and they're real. Amen. We can't deny them. We Amen. can't deny the virus. We're not trying to, right. and, but it's created a lot of fear within the people of God. Amen. Well, one of the great things we're looking at is a spirit of fear. Ah. Yes. And God has not given us a spirit of fear, right. but he has given us power, love, and a sound mind. And yet, that spirit of fear is rampant. Yeah. And the church has to have the answer. Amen. Uh, in fact, we have the answer. Amen. And that's something we want to look at today is we want to come up with and, and relate to what is the answer for, first of all, what's the answer for the church? What's the answer for the mm -hmm. children of God? Right. But we're also going to give some answers, hopefully, by the power of the Holy Spirit, right. uh, what the world needs to do. Amen. Uh, God said he would take the church. And by it manifest mm, his yes. manifold wisdom in the midst of everything. And he'll take the wisdom of this world and he'll confound it. Amen. 
and bring out the wisdom he has yes. within the church to establish things that are right. And Amen. so hopefully we can have that uh, discussion and see Amen. some great things happen. Amen. You know, before we uh, get started uh, with all of that, let me share with you, those of you that's at home watching this program, uh, we have recorded this a few days ago from where you're watching it today. So we may not be up to date with everything um, that is going on today in the country and in the nation uh, such regarding all of this, but this was recorded a few days ago. So uh, just so you know, if we're behind a little bit, that's why. Uh, so anyway, Pastor Zach, um, I want you to just to kind of take us and spearhead this. You know, I think one of the interesting things is, is that when we started this new year uh, of 2020, mm -hmm. uh, we went into this thing declaring that yes. this is the year of the Lord. Uh, matter mm -hmm. of fact, I've been proclaiming it every service, every prophetic word that I've heard coming into this year. This was going to be the year for the church. All of these great things were going to happen. This is the year of supernatural increase. This yes. is the year of God's glory. This is the year uh, of, of signs, wonders, and miracles. Right, this is right. the acceptable Amen. time of the Lord. We've been proclaiming that. Matter of fact, every prophetic word that we've heard even coming into this year uh, was declaring that. But one of the issues is that we're dealing with right now is, wait a minute. The word of the Lord is not matching seemingly to what has been or what is going on right. presently in our world. And uh, as me and Pastor was driving in here today, uh, one of the things that w was shared, we only prophesy in part. Yeah. You know, yeah. God reveals the good. He shows us, right. but he doesn't always reveal what it's going to take to right. get us there. Exactly. You know what I'm talking oh, about, Pastor. Yeah, but because, you know, we see, we see in part. We know in part. We prophesy in part. But we are also being led of the Holy Spirit Amen. to have insights into things uh, that, that ordinarily we wouldn't have. Amen. Uh, we're seeing some tremendous things. You were talking about the prophecies that were, were preceding this year before we ever began the year. And God saying he was going to do that. But one friend of mine prophesied that in the first few months of this year, God yeah. said, I'm going to shake the, the earth to his very shoes. Amen. And in doing so, I'm going to put the earth in a position where they won't have an answer so I can reveal it through the church. Uh, so, I mean... He couldn't get any closer to coming true right. now. Amen. In fact, he said, I'm even going to bring uh, bring down sports for a while. They have robbed me of my people, and so I'm going to take care Come of this on. situation and bring them to an understanding, and I'm going to cause sports to be brought low in the midst of Well, they've shut it all down. Absolutely. So, I mean, so we're seeing prophecy. So now we're from, all right, this is what God has said. Now what is he saying, and what are we to do about it? Amen. Well, Pastor, one of the things I think we need to, to address, too, because I, I want to settle some, some fears and issues. Some people would say this is the judgment of God upon our nation. Mm. I personally don't believe no. that, that no. this is judgment whatsoever. Although I do believe that God can use it for his glory, yes. that things are being shaken as the Amen. prophetic word of the Lord came from. And to the people of God, to all of you, listen, this is the word of the Lord. The Bible said, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. That's right. uh, we've got to stand on that. He Amen. didn't say it wouldn't be formed. He just said it, right. wouldn't be, it wouldn't prosper. Amen. And he said, every tongue that rises in judgment, we have the authority or the power to condemn that. So there is a measure of authority that I believe God is really forcing the church yes. to stand up and take its rightful position in the earth. The Bible also decrees to us in the book of Psalms 91 that he that dwelleth, Come on. In the secret Come on. place of yes. the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, and I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, Amen. my God in whom I will trust. Yes. He talked about the pestilence that would come at noonday, the terror by night. But he said this. He said, it will not come near us. That's he right. said, a thousand shall fall at our side, 10,000 at our right come hand. On, but right. it's not going to come Amen. near our dwelling. Now listen, it's out there and we're not going, you've used the verse, we're not going to hope as the world hopes. That's right. We've got a greater hope that we're standing on. So to my dear friends that are watching today, uh, Pastor said it a while ago, the enemy is rose up. There's more than just natural fear here. Mm -hmm. There is a spirit of fear yes. at work. Yes. And we take authority over that right now, Amen. over Jesus that, Lord. over your life. Amen. And we command that fear to yes. be bound yes. up in the name of Jesus. And we declare the peace of 
God that Hallelujah. passes All understanding to rule your heart and your mind right now Amen. in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. We know the peace speaker. A friend of mine wrote that song mm. years ago. Well, we know him. We know his name. We know about him. We know his ways. And his ways are good, especially to his children. Yes. We're going to see the glory of God in ways that we've never seen before. Amen. We mentioned prior to starting the program, we have been saying the better part of last year and into this year, we're going to see a move of God that the church will not look like the church. Uh, it's going to be so amen. different that it, it's not recognizable as church as we have known right. it. But it has to be that way. When, and you mentioned, Jack, and, and, it's, and I want you to re elaborate on it, but this is forcing us out of Amen. the comfort zone. Amen. And in fact, the pressure is moving. It, and it just came to me. It's like when the people got real comfortable in Jerusalem, and they had, I mean, a tremendous move of God. Yeah, sure. Thousands were yes. coming to the Lord every day. It was a phenomenal. So persecution came. That moved them over to Antioch. Then persecution came in Antioch, and that's what spread the gospel Amen. around the world. Amen. The pressure is to move us into the place of God to Amen. see some tremendous things. So that's Amen. what we're looking at. You know, they are, I know today actually, the president made an announcement and, and such, and they're, they're bringing this thing down to just a certain amount of group that you can hold uh, people in general as, as a crowd, whether that's some places said 10, some people said 50, or whatever it is. There's lots of, your church. You, you pastor several hundred. Right. There's several hundred in your church. So, so that brings you to that place personally. How am I going to do this? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I struggle with the fact of having to cancel church for this. I, that's me personally. Yeah. I, I'm probably glad I'm not pastoring today. <laughs> well, you know? let, let's let's make this really clear. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't even think about this to, to a meeting with uh, some of our leaders mm -hmm. uh, that brought it clear. They're not asking us to stop our worship. No. Mm -hmm. What they do know about this, in the midst of all the unknowns, right. it is communically spread. Right. And that's what they're seeing. So they're trying to stop the yes. groupings of yes. people so that they can contain it or at least slow it down, right. okay, to get right. it stopped. And so churches are the places where people yeah, gather, right. whether right. it's a small group or wh whether it's large. Right. So they're not asking us in this sense. And I want that everybody to, to be understand that. They're not asking us to stop worship. Right. But they are asking us to create a different environment yes. of how we minister and do Amen. our worship. And, and we as a church, it is a rough, uh, hard thing. Let, because we've got pastors watching us. Uh, what do we do? Because we could rise up according to the book of Acts, mm -hmm. you know, and they said, well, we'd rather obey God than obey the law of the land. But again, keep in mind, in that day, they were commanding them not to teach right. and preach in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. That's, That's right. not what right. they're doing no. here. No. So now we could be rebellious and say, you know what, I'm going to go on and do this anyway, yeah. but I may be putting a lot of people at risk right. if I'm not careful. Right. So I've got to honor God, honor his word by honoring God, you know, our yeah. government yes. at the moment, but at the same time, being able to be the church and continue Amen. to minister to people. You know, which brings us right back to the point Pastor Val was just making, you know, that we was talking about earlier, yeah. and that is that we have to figure out how to can restructure. Oh, yes. my. Yeah. Restructure our yeah. church. Yeah. How can we, and it may be a temporary time, of temp, just a temporary time, but how can we restructure our services to where we can only... I, I, you know, I don't know. You know, minister to so many at a time yeah. uh, or exactly how to do that. And that's well, where we have to pray and seek God, number one. You know, Jack, you said, you, you made the statement about we're not, we don't want to cancel church. Right. Well, see, nobody's talking about canceling nope. church. Nope. We're not talking to you about canceling church. Not at church. all. No. In fact, if anything, we're going to start talking to you about increasing yes. church. church. Only with less quantity of people in, in a compacted area. Amen where you are increasing your amount of services. Pastor mentioned, well, maybe we could even start having, you know, through the week, we, we, most of our seniors are, are free through the week. Let's have daytime services. 
and let's bring in, you know, 10, 15, whatever the case might be, and let's minister and minister in a greater way. I saw a Facebook post where a guy visited his dad at assisted living. He was locked out. He couldn't go in. He brings a lawn chair, sets it up outside the window, calls his dad on the phone, and they're talking That's back awesome. and forth watching through the window, and I mentioned him. Well, man, That's why awesome. not go to the nursing home, stand out on a carport in front of the big glass windows, bring the people that want to have church. Right. We'll call them. They'll put it on a speaker phone, and we start ministering Amen. to the folks in there. Amen. And and we got a few nurses in these uh, assisted living facilities. Amen. Get them to lay hands on them and pray for them. And, and let's adjust. Let's yes. let's Amen. get the knowledge of witty invention yes. from on. the Holy Spirit, and let's start implementing it in a greater measure. So we're not canceling, we're increasing. That's right. In fact, that's what God said. God said in this day the church will increase, and I believe we're going to increase exponentially. Amen. We're going to come up with some ideas that are absolutely phenomenal. Amen. Set up teams and have the teams go into the community. Come on, man. You know, Amen. put two by two. Jesus sent yes. them out two yes. by two, and they come back rejoicing. I was in, uh, Tan not Tanzania, Liberia one year, and we were sending out two by two teams. They came back in 45 minutes' time, and they had 1,500 salvations recorded by going two by two into the community, wow. just witnessing wow. on the streets. Amen. Let's adjust ourselves to what God says, instead of let's don't let's let's stop this battling about whether we do have church, or don't have church, cancel church, or don't cancel church. When whether we tell people that do you're faithless or tell people on, that don't, don't you're on. stupid. Let's throw all of that out the come window. On. Let's get rid of that garbage and let's start loving one another like we're supposed to and come Amen. up with ideas that will absolutely benefit the entire kingdom. And hopefully we can suggest some things here you know, today. We may actually have to go back to the way they used to do it in Scripture in the early church. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Went from house to house. We just Going from house to house. Yeah. You know, and, and just like what you're saying, two by two. Yeah. You know, you know Pastor Jack, uh, in, in the book of Acts, that, that incredible move of the Holy Ghost, that outpouring that came in Acts chapter 2. Pastor yeah, already right. said 3,000 right. are born again. You've got all these people that have come to the city. They begin to take care of one another, begin to minister to one another. But then as you read on even further, there began to be a need. Some of the widows that were there were, yeah. were, were being neglected a little bit. And the apostles were doing everything they could to minister to everybody. Yeah. So they got this idea. Why, why don't we raise up some leaders that can go help take care of these widows? Now, all they were sent to do was was to see that they had food. If yeah, I remember right, that true. was their assignment. That was it. And Philip yeah. being one of those. He yes. was a man full yes. of faith, full of the Holy Ghost, full of wisdom. And the Bible said that he was going out taking care of the widows, but turned Samaria upside, upside down, down right. because of what God was doing through him. Yeah. I believe, could we not be in such a move? Again, we're going to reflect what we have heard over the past year. Uh, we've even sang the song that said, you know, it may not, it may not look like it. It may yeah. not feel like yes. it, but we've been given, and I'm, you're talking to me here Amen. because I yeah. didn't want to, God, what are we doing? You know, where are you at? Yeah. But I believe God is revealing himself in the midst of what is chaos to us. God said, I'm still in control, and I'm still on the throne, and I'm thrusting my church into a new place. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. You know, there's so much positive to yeah. this that everybody is, that's in panic mode is only seeing the negative side of this. Well, that's the scripture. The scripture says, what Satan meant for evil, God will turn it for good. Well, we know that this virus is evil sure we know that the panic is sure. evil that right. the spirit of fear is evil but that's that's not where we're to be right. in the midst of all of that garbage we're to look at a flourishing church a, a, a church that becomes more vocal more outspoken more prevalent and more prominent than we've ever been at least in our generations and that's where we're at that's what we're going to start seeing I believe we're going to come up not just here in this program, but over the days ahead. I think we're going to hear more and more ways that Amen. the church can activate in our communities that are transformative, that we will begin to transform Amen. the very communities we live in by the love of God, because it's the goodness of God that brings man to repentance. Amen. So why did not the church, we, let's just start rising up in the goodness of God and come up with ideas that will reach not only the church world, Amen. but the lost in a greater measure than ever before. Amen. You know, Pastor, that's a, so good, so good. And I want to say again, I think you said this a while ago, 
uh, we've got to be careful to stay out of, of judgment oh, that boy. we're not called to. Yes. Uh, because Amen. I'm not responsible for everybody's church. I'm responsible for Christ's church in no. the area that God gave me. Right. Now, he may lead the pastor in the same town with me to totally shut it down. If that's what he feels, that's yeah. between him and God. Yeah. But I've got to stay out of judgment. Let me also say this to our people. Listen, in this time, even though we know fear is rampant, and we know a spirit of fear is behind it, we also want to be wise. Because there are some people very susceptible. If they would get this virus, yes. it could be the end of their life. It really could. So we've got to be wise. I'm not going to judge people. One of our dear friends that you know very close to us, one of our apostolic leaders, uh, a number of years ago was in, in uh, Africa or somewhere. He contracted a virus that yes. settled his heart. It almost killed him then. Since that time, he's kind of, it's been a touch and go up and down thing health wise for him. He announced to us the other day, guys, I'm not faithless, but I've got to protect myself. Absolutely. And with the advice of his pastor and the church mm -hmm. leaders and mm -hmm. his family, they advised him now totally self quarantine him and his wife. But that's for them, right, okay? Right. I'm not going to throw a stone or jump in. I get it. I'm not in that boat. That's My right. life, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, but there may be some of you in that spot. We don't want to judge you. We want to encourage you. Here may be an area of ministry, just like the man yeah. went to the nursing home. We're going to come to your house. We may stand outside of your door, but we're going to encourage you somehow Amen. in the word of the Lord. So stay out of judgment of, of what you think everybody ought to do. Follow God. If you're a pastor, a church leader, follow God for your house. Okay, yes. follow God for your house. It may look totally different for every other church and every other ministry, but you find out what God's speaking to you, have peace with it, and Amen. then walk it out. Amen. You know, you mentioned on the way over, and you were talking about the, the, um, the, the Sunday, this past Sunday, yes. and so many people who were doing things online. We have Ugh. the tool today. We got you, it. you said... Online, Facebook blew up with the church on Sunday, yeah. because everywhere you looked, they were they were online, on Facebook yeah. or whatever, Twitter, or anything else, you know, and and utilizing, in fact, took the majority of time, at least through the Sunday morning hours of Facebook to preach the gospel yes, more sir. than we had ever done before in our Amen. lives. Amen. And how much more now are we going to be able to do that? And this, this program that you have right now is a precursor to all of that to help people learn yes, how to do sir. it. Amen. You know, like, like you said, you know, we've seen it on Facebook. Lots of things have been, have been posted this week that uh, uh, we have uh, seen the Spirit of God poured out over the weekend. Uh, and, and more people online probably having church and watching church mm -hmm. than probably ever mm -hmm. before. You know, we have, uh, uh, we've watched God do mighty things. Now, you know, many churches are online. You're online every week, every Sunday. Uh, church I attend to is online every Sunday. Many churches are online. But many of them, there's been more people watching online now. since all of this now than whatever has been. Yes. Uh, you know, and, and so... And again, I believe we ought to utilize every form of whatever we have available to us to preach the gospel. Yeah, we're running out of time. So can I throw one more thing Absolutely in? Let's, let's make sure you understand who are watching this program. There is still going to be the element of hands-on, laying hands on yes, the sick, sir. seeing them recover. Yes. We will work it out. People are going to come around. We're going to find a way to get to you, pray for you. You will not That's be good. left That's out good. without somebody Amen. who Amen. can lay hands and pray in prayer of faith and see you Amen. saved, yes. see your heart healed, see your, see your soul saved, and your body healed, come and on. grace Amen. fill your house. And the power of God come. So make sure you understand that. You may be watching online, but you're not alone. That's right. You might be looking at it on a screen, but all you got to do is call certain numbers at yes. certain times. Somebody's going to be there Amen. and somebody's going to come That's to your good. place and somebody's going to have an answer Amen. to pray over your life and see victory come to you. The anointing Amen. of God doesn't know any limits. Doesn't know. That's good. It'll no. come through the internet just like it'll come from the pulpit to the pulpit. Yes, priest. sir. Yeah. You know, there, there is no limits, amen. We, we got we to gotta wrap this up, amen. But I want you to take just a moment, Pastor, if you would, just, just about 60 seconds and pray, amen, for those watching, maybe that's been affected by this virus or family members that's been affected, amen. We have that authority 
to do that. Amen. Well, well, Father, we do. And we ask you to move mightily yes, in the hearts sir. of every person who watches this. I pray, first of all, that peace rules yes, and reigns in their hearts. That your spirit of peace takes yes, hold of them. As we prayed it in the beginning. We'll do it again. I break the power of a spirit of fear over everyone watching. Yes. I command you to loose these the children of God in Jesus' name. I speak to everyone who is lost. Come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Ask him into your heart right now. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Yes. Be Lord of my life. I'm in the midst of this and I'm afraid. Come and bring your comfort. He will do that. And I thank you, Lord, that you do that. And I pray, Lord, that as salvations begin to roll in and we begin to hear about it. And I give you praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Now, if you uh, prayed that prayer or if you, that prayer affected you and it was for you, I want you to call the numbers on the screen and let us hear from you. Uh, somebody will be there to answer the phone to, to pray with you individually and to help you uh, do anything that, that you need, amen, that we can help you with. Amen. Go to our website at www.kingdomnewsnow.org and uh, send us a prayer request or whatever it is that maybe you, you have need of. Uh, you can check everything out, all about, the, all about the program, all about Jack and Lisa, all about our dog Judah. Uh, sure. You know, you can check everything out, <laughs> amen, almost our, our children and, and everything else there. But lots of personal information there. But, but uh, you can also watch the TV program from the website. You can also uh, make donations from the website. So, so do that, kingdomnewsnow.org. Or you can mail your donations or letters into us uh, by regular mail at P.O. Box. 931 Poplar Bluff, Missouri, 63902. Amen. And uh, send us your prayer request or whatever it is that, you, that you'd that you like to do with that and, and such. And we are here to pray for you. And again, let us remind you that God's not given us a spirit of fear. No. But of power, love, love and a sound, sound mind. mind. Amen. Pastor, we appreciate you all being with us tonight. Bless you. Oh, great to be here. And uh, we're excited about what we know God is doing. Amen. Yes, sir. And so we just look forward to, to the great things that's ahead. Come on. You know, no, not no, not not any negative things, not any bad things. We're looking for the great things. Well, one of the things you're asking for is send praise report. Yes. Let absolutely. us know. Let us know. You you got a hold of this thing and you've gone out to your neighborhood and you began to reach people. Send that as a praise report. Let Pastor Jack know Amen. this is what's going on. And we will share it. He will share it. I yes. won't be around, but he'll share it. Amen. And we'll rejoice together with you because you've let Jesus be Lord of your life and you've done some awesome things. Amen. Awesome. Amen. Until we meet with you again, amen, let me just remind you that every day it's this time. It's time to testify. Amen. God bless you. Hi, I'm Greg Gilberto. I'm pastor of the North Point Nazarene Church. We would love to see you on a Sunday morning. 1045. We're right across the street from Motel 6. Brand new high-rise motel right there on the north end of Poplar Bluff. Right in front of Stinson Press, our services time is 1045 on Sunday morning. Be our guest. Our church can be your home. This program is brought to you by friends and partners of Kingdom News Now. If you're interested in becoming a partner with us, contact us at 573-840-8888 or email us at kingdomnewsnow at gmail.com. This program is brought to you by friends and partners of Kingdom News Now. If you're interested in becoming a partner with us, contact us at 573-840-8888 or email us at kingdomnewsnow at gmail.com.